Hello everyone, welcome to another Film My Run review. Today we're doing a tech review. We're looking at the Elite Sport wireless headphones. These are the most expensive headphones you will ever see in your life. Well, maybe not. They're about 200 UK pounds. The uh, Jabra Elite Sport True Wireless Headphones. Specifically, these headphones have particular sport capabilities. So they can monitor your heart rate and your speed and cadence when you're running. So I'd like to check that out. So so stay with me for the Jabra Elite Sport wireless headphones review. Now, I don't normally do unboxings, uh, and I'm not really going to do an unboxing here, but just to say that the packaging is pretty good. So you get this little box here, nice picture on the front, and then, and then you get this stylish box here, and, and then another box slides out here. So normally the headphones are just in here, but I'm wearing them, obviously. Um, and here is a case, but it's also a charger. So if you wear the headphones, you normally get about four and a half hours of charge out of them. If you carry this case with you, that gives you a full 13 and a half hours of charge. So uh, very worthwhile having that, uh, really useful. It's like a snap case, so let me just show it to you. So the case kind of opens up like this, and it's a kind of very satisfying snap shut like that and uh, it's got the word jabber on the front and then you can see there's a little charging uh, slot there and uh, there's a light that comes on as well and that shows you that they're charging now also inside the case to help the earphones fit you you get different sized ear what are they called it's ear gels so these little gels oh <laughs> i'm dropping them all over the place you get so you get these different sized ear gels and then you also get different sized ear wings. So these things here. Right, can you hear me? What are you doing, you on your lunch? How's the quality? I'm, I'm wearing those headphones. I was just about to, I'm just doing a review of those headphones. I'm, I'm actually recording now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell them. My... So I'm on the phone to my wife now and she's literally saying to me that the quality of the call is clearer through these headphones than it is when I talk to her using my normal iPhone. So there you go. Now it's really quite important to get the right sizes of those ear gels and the ear wings here uh, because it will make a big difference to how comfortable they are in your ears. I've read quite a few reports about people sending these headphones back because they said they didn't fit properly um, and the, the sound was tinny. Um, if you don't get these in your ear correctly, the sound will be tinny. They need to be properly in your ears for you to get the full feeling of the bass and the full um, dynamic range of the sound. So it's worth experimenting with the ear gels and the ear wings to get the right size for you. Now the Jabra Elite Sport True Wireless headphones are, I think, pretty much the top of the range of the Jabra line. Um, if we go and have a look at Amazon here, we can see a comparison. The other big popular uh, Jabra headphones are the um, Elite 65T. And on Amazon, you can compare the different types. So you can see here that um, the Elite Sport has four and a half hours um, without the case and then 13 and a half with the case, whereas the um, Elite Actives 65Ts have five hours and 15 hours charge with the case. But the Elite Sport is the only one that is IP67 waterproof. It has a heart rate monitor and it does rep counts. So you can see here that on Amazon at the moment, they are £199 for the Elite Sport. And that is compared to 161 for the Elite Active 65T. Another difference between the Elite Sport wireless ones, these ones, and the Elite Active 65Ts is that they both use different apps. So if we have a look here, the um, 65Ts use the Jabra Sound Plus app and the Jabra Elite Sport use the Sport Life app. So obviously I've got the Sport Life app. So you can do various tests with the app. You can do a resting heart rate test. You can do a VO2 max test. You can do a Cooper test. Perform the test to determine your endurance capability. Let's have a look at that one. Cover as much distance as you can in 12 minutes. Okay, <laughs> don't think I'll do that right now. 
So various tests, you can also um, do cross training, you can just track running and you can also have coaching. So you can set a target pace or a target cadence or you can run in a heart rate zone and the app will coach you through all that. So obviously you need to take your phone with you if you go outside and run with the app. And as you'd expect, there are various settings. So, you know, you can set your height and your weight, date of birth. Um, you can find your headphones because they've got GPS tracking. So I know exactly where my headphones are. You can calibrate the pedometer or you can use auto calibration, GPS settings, social media set, headphone settings, equalizer, language settings. Far too much really for me to go into now on the app. I could be here all day showing you different settings. And to be honest, I've not been through them all. I've got no workout history. I've done no fitness tests at all. And the reason there's no workout history is because I, I probably won't use the app to run outdoors. I probably won't use the headphones to run outdoors. Generally, I don't use music when I'm running outdoors. What I do use music for is indoors, running on the treadmill and working with Zwift. So what I wanted to do was test whether these headphones will work with Zwift as a speed and cadence sensor. So let's go and do that now. Okay, I've got my run gear on now. So let's get onto Zwift and see if we can get the Jabra Elite Sport headphones to work. So you can see on the left there, we've got the uh, MyRun treadmill connected to my phone. So that orange man is me but using the MyRun treadmill as a speed source. That's going to be our baseline speed source. And then on the PC, we're going to have the Jabra Elite, which is called the Jabra Elite 81, according to that. Uh, and that is going to be running Zwift uh, with the Jabra Elite as the speed source so we can see how well it does. So we've got here the Jabra Elite connected as um, a smart Bluetooth speed source. We've also got the Jabra Elite smart connected as a cadence sensor and we've also got the Jabra Elite Smart connected as a heart rate monitor as well. So in here, just from these headphones, I can get a speed source, I can get cadence and I can get heart rate. So you don't need anything else. That's it. You just need these. So what we're going to do is we're going to calibrate the earbuds now um, just to see if we can get them a bit more accurate. Um, as you can see, I've already covered 1.6 kilometers and I realized I had a technical problem. So I've had to come back and start again. So we'll go to the pairing screen and we we'll click on the little spanner icon here. So let's try it at let's try it at 12 kilometers an hour. So that'll be our middle point of calibration. There we are. So the my run is now at 12.1 and we are now calibrating. We've got 40 seconds at this pace and then we'll go slower and then we'll go faster. All right, now we're going to set the treadmill slower. So calibrating at 10.6. All right, and now we need to speed up to 13.6. So let's see what happens. I've got a feeling I know what's going to happen now. Yeah, okay. That exclamation mark means that Zwift is not prepared to calibrate because it doesn't think I'm running anywhere near 13.6 kilometers an hour. I am. Let's increase the speed until Zwift thinks that I'm running at 13.6. Let's go to 17. There we are. So I've had to go to 17 kilometers an hour on my treadmill in order for Zwift to think that I'm going at 13.6. So stop the treadmill. Right, let's start running. So we'll start running at seven kilometers an hour on the treadmill. And the earbuds are running at nine kilometers an hour. So still way too fast. Two kilometers per hour too fast. Heart rate still looking okay. Right, let's go up to 10 kilometers an hour. And we are now too slow. Even though, remember, our calibration point was 12.1. Heart rate is accurate. Right, let's go up to our calibration point of 12.1. Heart rate is okay. Heart rate is accurate. But yeah, speed is not good. All right, I think we've had enough of that. As it is uncalibrated or calibrated, these Jabra 
elite smart wireless headphones are, are not really a great source for speed on Zwift. Um, heart rate seems to be okay. Um, in terms of their quality as headphones, they haven't fallen out. They're comfortable to wear. Like I said before, if you get the right size, then that's important. Um, sound quality, well, for a pair of headphones worth £200, you would expect them to have really good sound quality, and it is. Um, the connections to your apps on your phones are really quick. Um, I've not had any dropouts. Although, having said that, occasionally, what happens is sometimes you take the left earbud out and when you put it back in, it takes a little while for the left one to come back again. Um, you can kind of wear it just with one earbud in and take the other one out if you want to talk to somebody. Also, you can press a button on the right-hand side and that gives you a sound through. So it opens up a mic on the outside of the headphones so that you can hear what's going on outside whilst still having the earbuds fully in. They haven't dropped out while running at all. They feel fit, snug, comfortable. In terms of frequency response, again, like I said, you do have to have them fully in, really well fitted, and then the bass response is really good. Otherwise, if they are slightly out, it can feel a little lightweight, so you get the high end, you get the mid range, but you don't get any bass. So do fit them snug in there. The literature tells you that these are waterproof. I've only been using them for a couple of months, so I can't absolutely be sure that they are, but they do have a waterproof IP rating, so that should be good enough. The app is great, lots of functionality on the app, certainly for fitness. Sound wise, the quality is awesome as you'd expect, but for a speed source on Zwift, I wouldn't really recommend them to be honest. And that's it, that is it for my review of the Jabra Elite True Wireless Sport Elite Jabra headphones. Thanks a lot, see you later, bye.